let a few people go in. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, you guys, good morning. Welcome to Daily Deal. Straight to the back. It's the way to do it. Um, Phillips. good that actually ended up being disposable silverware but i can still get like 30 bucks for it it goes for 70 on amazon surprisingly what's up what's up oh i got so much stuff bro i can barely carry all this my boy right here he's not playing games This restock caught me off guard, we are barely 5 minutes in and they usually wait until about an hour in to do their first restock. So I considered going after it but my hands were way too full so I ended up not going into it. I had to find a spot for my stuff so I could free up my hands to find more stuff. Sports dog, um, that's such a good brand. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, thank you, yeah. Yeah, you gotta go after the deep bins. That's the way to go. So with these surprise restocks, they just roll a pallet around the store and throw stuff into the bins as opposed to their regular restocks where they roll out bins and bring in entirely new bins. There'll be plenty of those restocks too that I'll show you later in the video. Right up to the front, 
get these. Come on. Pretty soon, you do not want to miss out on what we're giving away for you today. And like I said, it's free. You don't even got to take one video of the podcast. Just take a video of the podcast. You can get the 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 video of the podcast. Dude, you gotta settle down, man. You can't be doing that to people. Yeah, hey, follow, just, just follow it's, Brown. Are we for it's okay. Hey, I'm yeah. just saying you just, just gotta settle down. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so, it's okay. Just it's a fine. Just settle down. Because if not, we'll have to talk to people. Like we'll just keep things easy. You want it? Yeah. That guy, I had had I grabbed a box like this. Uh, Dude grabs it out of my hand, reaches over from the other side of the bin, grabs it out of my hand with two hands, rips it out of my hand. Uh, I have it up like this. Right. Like, what are you it's doing, buddy? <laughs> man, it's wild. Thing, man. I said take it. I don't care. It's a brown box. I don't know what's in it. It's yours, man. I think he threw it back five seconds later. Here's one of their main restocks. They had a ton of these throughout the day that I'll show you. I didn't find something every restock, but over the course of the 10 or so restocks they had throughout the day, I definitely improved my overall haul. Thank <laughs> you. 
I want to go for the race. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. I mean, what I saw? No, I need to. So this is what I use every week. Four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cart, but it's packed to the brim. I mean, I think I did it pretty good still. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, guys, right here, right here, right here. Don't run into the Betty, Betty, Betty. Betty, she's open. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, seven, Thirty-three. That's good. That's all you get to waiting. 
Yeah. What's up? 280. 280? Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, so we're back and here's all 33 items that I picked up that day. There's a lot that I wasn't able to cover in the video just because I was there from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So I wasn't able to record the whole day and catch everything that I found in the bins, but I was digging through the bins the entire time. And here's everything that I found. Some of it I already went over, but I'll just give a brief overview of some of the other stuff that I picked up. I won't go into detail about how much everything is worth. Pretty much the high end of the stuff that I picked up was around like $150 and then the low end was somewhere around like 30 to $40. And I picked up everything here for only $8 each. It was amazing what they had in the bins there. And again, it was their one year anniversary. So that's why they had so much amazing stuff, but let's go over some of it. So again, we had that disposable dinner set. We have a pool vacuum. We have several trimmers that we got, probably one, two, three, four. There's five down there, six ones hiding back, back here. So like, yeah, we got like six different trimmers or shavers. Uh, this is a door position sensor, uh, washing machine shutoff valve, a few dog collars, uh, probably about like four of them. They range from like 50 bucks, 40 or 50 bucks for those and like over a hundred for those, for this one and this one. These are knee pads for power lifters. We did pick up one of those car radios. We didn't get the exact one that I showed you during the restock, but this was another one that I found in the bins later. Uh, and yeah, that should be a good pickup. We have this poultry brooder. It's like a warming bench. I actually don't know what that's supposed to do. Hair dryer, a flaring tool, um, HP ink, which I'll always pick up name brand ink. I love that. A few toothbrushes. This toothbrush is really, really expensive. I already covered that one. Um, these ones are cheaper, like 30 to $40 toothbrushes, but still worth it. Um, a propane tank sensor which is actually really interesting. It's much better than shaking around your propane tank and trying to guess how much is left in there. This thing I already covered a little bit in the video, but it's for a welding helmet. It's uh, an auto darkening shade, the thing that you put on, on the front of your welding helmet. Um, so they're actually really expensive. This goes for like over a hundred bucks. Um, a French press, this one's a good brand and it goes for like over a hundred on Amazon. A dash cam, which is really cool. This blue box is an eye massager actually. Uh, I've never heard of one of those, but it's cool and it's worth like 40, 50 bucks. And then some laptop cooling pads, which go for like 80 bucks. So yeah, I definitely have like a lot of amazing stuff here. I can't believe everything that I picked up this day. Um, this was by far my best day again. And I probably picked up close to like $1,500 worth of stuff total, uh, not including the price of what I actually paid. But I, I mean, again, I only paid 280 for all of this stuff because it's $8 an item. Uh, so yeah, probably around like 12 to 1300 bucks after everything is sold is what I'm expecting. And this is by far my best day at any of these sales. I would say that my average day would be somewhere around like half of this. But again, that one year anniversary was really amazing and they did a great job with it. Their Facebook said they're extending it into this weekend too. I don't know if it's going to be as good as the last weekend because they really planned and prepared for that one. but. I'm still going to go hoping that I even do somewhere close to this. If I do even like 70% of this, I still think that would be an insane day. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that again this weekend. But thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you found this somewhat interesting. I hope you go to your own local sale and find some amazing stuff yourself. And I'll see you in the next one.